the Secretary General then, coming up very shortly, we have a, a conference on hate speech. It's in uh, the Hungarian capital Budapest, and a keynote speech by you will be delivered there. What exactly will you be saying? What will you be saying that hate speech actually is? First of all, I want to um, say that um, hate speech is a growing problem, in particular online. And uh, hate speech is basically any kind of communication that is spreading, justifying or inciting uh, hatred uh, based on intolerance. And that kind of intolerance is always, uh, of course, directed against individuals or groups of individuals and uh, very often uh, minorities. Uh, and it creates a lot of tension and therefore we have to take this, uh, we have to raise awareness uh, of, it, of this and uh, combat it. On the one hand we have freedom of expression, freedom of speech, on the other hand we have this so-called hate speech. How do we reconcile those differences? Well, uh, freedom of speech is a basic right. Uh, every individual uh, has the right to express themselves uh, and also to disturb uh, uh, the public opinion. Uh, but of course it has to be balanced uh, towards other uh, rights also. So therefore there is a balance between rights and obligations. And this is, uh, we, we have to pay more and more attention to this as our societies uh, are becoming more diverse with respect to religion and, uh, and culture and also uh, individual priorities. So therefore it is very important for us now to convey that yes, we have basic rights, but we also have basic obligations in order to pay res respect to others' opinions, other religions, and other uh, cultures. And of course the Council of Europe in the form of the European Court of Human Rights has a big say in that as well, hasn't it? Yes, the European Court of Human Rights has, for instance, said that um, freedom of expression can be restricted. Uh, one example is that you do not have the right to deny Holocaust. Uh, the Cyber uh, Crime Convention that um, uh, the Council of Europe has uh, also uh, criminalizes um, any kind of um, uh, uh, racist uh, and xenophobic expressions uh, online and a number of uh, countries in Europe uh, uh, has also of course laws against uh, racist uh, expressions so so there are limitations both in the European Convention on Human Rights and also in national legislation. You say there are limitations then but what can we do what do we need in order to fully combat uh, hate speech? Well, first of all, uh, we need to set the limitations uh, in uh, legislation, uh, which uh, I think most of our member countries do. And we also need to know more about this phenomenon, why it appears, what kind of people that uh, is um, uh, pursuing this. And we also need to raise awareness of this problem uh, and we also have to mobilize people uh, so that uh, when we see, for instance, uh, hate speech online, uh, people mobilize against it and speak out against it. I think the, the most important thing is to mobilize, in particular, young people to take part in, uh, in the discussion going on uh, online. Uh, because there you have the, the, the possibility to um, to speak out against uh, this kind of expressions.